Happy Thanksgiving. You're awesome for clicking on this video. And, um, happy Thanksgiving again. Oops. So, this is a matched book review. You probably wouldn't have expected this because you've heard me tell you guys how much I hated Crossed, which I didn't give a chance to, and I reread and I really enjoyed, but that's for another video. I wrote notes down on my phone. I'm sorry I, if I keep looking down um, because I will forget and I'll say like, um, and then I'll continue. So I wrote notes down this time, which is unlike me and they are really long. Like I have a lot of notes. Yes. So, um, I decided I want to give class a chance, but that's for another video. So like, the, oh, the society is so like aggravating. I want to kill like all those people and burn down some building that they all live in. Because it's so annoying. Like, ugh. So annoying. So, um, sorry about my background. The lighting's really weird in my room. Sorry. Because my headboard, it covers up the window. So, anyway. And my lights, like the one right on top of me, isn't working today. Yeah, of course. So, it's like... When they talk about the society, I want to fling my book across the room. Like, I want to, like, bash it down and, like, rip out and burn those words. But I can't because it's on my Kindle. Ugh, I wish I had the book so I could burn out each word. No, I wouldn't want to do that. It's such a good book. But, yes, I love this book. I loved it. Like, I liked it oh, like I was like oh it's pretty good the first time but the second time it was like so much better so um like they don't even know how to write like the whole time Cassie uh Kai's teaching Cassia she's like how do you do a K and I'm like ah, stupid society they can't like choose their food or their husband or anything so annoying but that's the like thing about dystopians they make you really think about like um if it would happen in real life like what it would be like and like this book is really similar to a lot of books I noticed oh okay, I'm looking down again but it's like in the beginning it's like Hunger Games and I'm thinking Hunger Games and then it reminds me of delirium, so I start thinking delirium. And then I start thinking about um, divergent with those red pills. And then, um, like, I, um, I think divergent, I think about um, the giver. It kind of seemed like the giver a little bit. And, like, and then once it got to the match ceremony, you kind of felt, like, the uniqueness of it. And it's really easy to read. That's a good thing. It's like some books, like a classic book, you have to really think about what you're reading. This one, you can just like go through it really quickly. So, um, so like, did you notice that like they killed the people when they got to 80 with the food? Like, I noticed, I kind of guessed on that. So, um, one quick thing before I go on. Sorry if this video is really long and um, the beginning was also a spoiler section. The whole thing's a spoiler section, so if you haven't read it, sorry about that. I haven't disclosed too much. Go read and come back. So, for the people who read and the f for the people who want to know, because I kind of ruined the beginning, but anyway... Um, I like Kai and I like Xander. They were both, like, really sweet. But, like, Xander had the best friend thing going for him. Like, anti not going for him. It wasn't helping him. Because you were thinking of him just being her best friend forever. Because that's, like, because you get a lot of background info on the characters. And then, like, um, Kai was, like, the bad boy in an aspect. And he was kind of like Alex in Delirium. He had that going for him. He was, like, braver. And then Xander, like, he changed. Like, when he gives Cassia those blue pills, it's like, wow, it changes. 
And then, like, another good thing is there's a lot of imagery in this book, and it has a poetic references, like, references, yeah. Um, and then, what else? I also wondered if she knew what she was doing when she, like, categorized, categorized stuff. Kai, Kai. She does, like, some stuff that's, like, really annoying, but then, so you, and, but in the beginning, and you think she's kind of shallow, but you grow to love her, and, um, like, in the, when you're reading it, when you get to the end, it doesn't make quite sense, it doesn't make a lot of sense until you read Crossed, what's going on in, like, the outer provinces, that's, like, District 13, Divergent the outside like this society has them all like fenced in basically like kind of like the forest of hands and teeth they're all fenced in trying to protect them from nothing basically protecting them from freedom fun right but it's crossed is really good and um like dystopians you can make like connections to other dystopians it's like little puzzles and then, um, like, you think about it, and, like, those red pills was, like, the happy serum in Insurgent. It's, like, it's the annoying, oh, let's make everything better. Let's make them calm. Let's make them happy. People need real emotions. And then another thing, I'm, like, being random off because I wrote stuff randomly. Um, it's very emotionally scarring, the book. Not in a bad way, but it causes you to cry a lot. Like when the grandpa, uh, grandfather dies. When um, Xander gives her the pills. The whole ending. When the people take away the artifacts. You can be like crying so much in this book. So often. So you would start, uh, you would stop crying. And then you would read like five pages. And then you would start crying again. It's, but um, it's, it's worth reading. Like. Except for your emotionally, mental health, it's worth reading. And if you read them and you didn't like them the first time, I would recommend you go reread them. And I am going to do a crossed book review once I write notes about it. Because I finished it and I want to like make it seem... I think this video turned out better, except for the little bits of random things. But yeah, I think it turned out better... Because I knew what I was saying. So, other than that, um, it overall, I it's a really good book. It's worth reading and it's it makes you think. But it doesn't make you think while you're reading, if that makes any sense. Like, you get to think about it and afterwards. But you don't have to think about it so much while you're reading where it takes away from the story. <clears throat> because I read books where you have to really think about it while you're reading. And that kind of takes away from the whole storyline because you're constantly having to think what's going on. But this book is really easy to read. and That's not a bad thing. Ali Condi did a great job writing it. It makes it easy to read and it makes it a quick read. Um, it's not that short of a book. I believe it's like 300, 400 pages, but you go through it pretty fast because it speeds up. Like, there's a few slower parts, but it does speed up. So I would like, if you read it and you got bored and you stopped, I would try to go through that part because it does get better. It like gets, it steamrolls the beginning, it gets a little slow, and then it like sprints towards the end. And the ending might not make any sense. Because you haven't read Crossed. Crossed kind of clears up all those little tie-ins in the beginning and the middle. But you still wonder a lot about the society and how it works. That's what happened to me. I kept on thinking about the society the whole time. And this video is getting a lot longer than I would think it was going to be. Even though I knew it was going to be long. So I'm going to wrap it up. I really enjoyed this book. Last few words. Good job, Ali Condi. I love you now. Love you now. <laughs> and um, I'm excited to read Reached. I am done with, um, what is, um, done with Crossed. And I'm going to reread it for notes. And then I'm going to read Reached. 
and then I'll probably do a cross video. I might combine crossed and reached. I might not, depending on if it's as long as this video. So, thank you for watching. Bye.